Welcome to episode 131, Muhammad Hussein Al Almodi, second richest Saudi self made billionaire from Ethiopia. This is an outline of episode 131. There are four reasons why we study Al Almodi. First, he is the richest man from Ethiopia and the second richest black self made billionaire. Second, he is the second richest self-made billionaire from Africa and also from Saudi Arabia. Third, he set up models of sustainable businesses. Fourth, he invested and succeeded in three continents, Asia, Europe, and Africa. Let us meet Muhammad Hossein Al Almodi. <laughs> Small town in Ethiopia, an exceptional child was born. This is a map of Desi, Ethiopia. The year was 1946 and the child's name was Muhammad Al Amudi. He was brought up together with his siblings by his Ethiopian mother, an Arabic father. This is a map of Vodia, Ethiopia. Zamaro Matayo Maskida Kababi, Mohammed and Robert Buzuzi Kabetas of Gara, Zatana Sodomot, I told but all Yetamala Lassemi Marbas, Beto Zanabar, Maskida Kababi, Yakababi, Mugadi Bala. Village, it's a bochacho, Yanim, Lagri Mitter Funa Baru, let the Jaffman or Abitina, Sukna Baracho Nazinacho Ahun and the Nyo de Jaffman or Abit. Sheikh Mohammed Hussein Al Lamudin, Simantanya Kflin that Anakaku, whether they see Ye Wazero Sun, Uletanya de Jat Mustviti Amaralu. That low where the Saudi Arabia can know. Hazabu Halaim Nehulu, let Natagar Nale his bitter Rafatari corner. Mohammed's curiosity and search for adventure led him further to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to work with his relatives. In Saudi Arabia, Mohammed had started to work with the Swedish contractor ABV, who, together with Skanska, were bidding for a gigantic underground storage project for the Saudi Kingdom. When the contract was close to being rewarded, the two big contractors grew scared of the risks and challenges. Sheikh Mohammed Hussein Al Lamudin, where the Saudi Arabia Kiedu Bohala, Mirtachon at an ako, back at the ta, where the niggling sick as you stanic a boot. And you saw, but Alamachin, back at me a oak and nagging it, a construction and not very state investment. Sion, Isotachon and not act at Chomba Masadek, Benedach Hapt, the Maddin, Bersha, Botil and not tourism, the engineering and not the Messelzer Foch, Betalak or Britannia, Bamica, the Scandinavian Hagaruch. Bemsrak Europa, the Greek, the Macacalinum Srak, the Asiana, the Africa, Alamak of Yohone, the investment Maserat Alu. Talalakotru, who let the investment Zerfoch, Coral Group, and now the Midrock Group, but the Galaika Arbashi Saratanuch Bella yesterday at Ralu. From 1993 to 1996, he became a big industrialist and philanthropist in Ethiopia. The longing to contribute to the development of Ethiopia came true in the 90s when he took his first step on his journey to becoming the largest capacity builder and philanthropist in Ethiopia. In 1996, the Mitruk brand was created in Sweden, combining Swedish technical know-how with Al Al Maudi's brand of cultural unity and financial prudence. It was a great marriage. 
In 1996, Lennart called on Mohammed to further utilize Swedish management and sustainable know-how and form the Midrog brand in Sweden and later in Saudi Arabia and Ethiopia. በሶስት ተከፍሎ በሚድሮክ ኢሮፕ በሚድሮክ መካከለኛው ምስራቅና በሚድሮክ ኢትዮጵያ ማዋቅሮች አብሮቹ ልማትና ለስፖቻቸው እድገት የላቀ እንቅስቃሴ በማድረግ ላይ ይገኛሉ። ኮራል ግሩፕ ደግሞ በአውሮፓ በአፍሪካ በመካከለኛው ምስራቅና በሳውዲ አረቢያ በሊባኖስ ባንጎላ በሞሮኮና ስካንዲኔቪያን ሀገሮች ታላላ He also did a little bit of viking in Scandinavia. As recognition for his contribution to the Swedish economy, he twice received the Royal Swedish Order of the Polar Star Medal from the Swedish King. Since 1998 he invested back in Ethiopia from gold mines to cement factories to soccer stadiums. እነዚህና ሌሎችም የግልና የመንግስት ድርጅቶች በተዘዋዋሪ በተለያየ መንገድ ተሳትፈዋል። In 2002 he became listed in the Forbes magazine for the first time with a net worth of 1.5 billion dollars. Which am so chine qarataru. Mohammed Alamudi's diversified businesses involve over 50,000 employees in hundreds of different companies. Midrokio, Baropa, Zemanawi Yegebeya Merhochin na Enkisikasiochin lemasfen be property development, be adaddis technology maskoch, be consulting na be contracting yesra zarfoch, Scandinavian hagroch betechemari, betelay be German Mohammed himself is now considered to be among the largest investors in the world. What have I learned today? First, his business empire started from Saudi Arabia, expanded to Sweden, and then expanded to Ethiopia. Second, he employs 70,000 and runs a diversified global conglomerate. Third, he emphasizes cultural uniqueness and sustainability. and he makes lots of money on three continents from Asia, Europe and Africa. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your comments and questions below. My next video will be Al Almaudi 9 lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.